Good morning, everyone. It's Suzanne Skye, and I'm sitting in line at the food distribution this morning. Uh, it's about probably five minutes till seven, I think. I left the house at 6.15. Uh, got a little bit of a late start, but really, not really. Uh, I think I've been leaving a little overly early before. And I'm about, I think, the 23rd car here, maybe. Something like that. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's not bad. And uh, since I've been here, there's been about at least 10 more cars. Uh, that have driven up uh, behind me and next to me. So, huh. I'm feeling okay today, I think. I'm just awfully tired, even though I went to bed, um, I think it was about 11 or 11.30 that I went to bed last night. And I slept pretty good. Uh, only woke up two or three times, but went back to bed, or back to sleep pretty quickly. Um, when I know I've got something going on the next day, uh, especially if it's in the morning and I know I've got to get up, I tend to wake up all night long to look at the clock. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's just I, I wake up and have to check the time, check the time, check the time. So, um, but still, that's just the way it goes and it's not too bad, really. I, when I get home from here, well, I have to stop and get uh, one of my prescriptions first, which I can do in the drive-through at the pharmacy. So that's good. I won't have to get out of the car and leave food in the heat, um, but I've got to do that. And then when I get home, uh, gotta unload everything, um, take it in the house. Uh, so I don't know, this food distribution, well, all the food distributions, well, all I say, <laughs> there's only two in uh, our county and um, they're on the second and the fourth Saturday of the month. <clears throat> anyway, they're not uh, as large as they used to be, but this one in particular, it seems like it's uh, not as much as the other one here in this town, uh, but it seems to be a little better uh, better selections. Well, not that we get to select anything. You just, uh, they just load your car with whatever they've got, but uh, it seems like it's the, a little bit better things here. Uh, so I'm glad I made it this morning. I've missed four of them, the last four of them, two months worth that I've uh, missed because I just felt too, too bad to get up and go, but, uh, you know, I'm never going to be a ball of fire <laughs> yet, but, uh, I'm feeling better yesterday and today than I have been. So I'm just sitting here. None of the workers are here yet. Uh, there are just people in their cars and a few people are out leaning against their cars, talking to other people. And uh, what I brought a book to read, if I get to it. This one started off really good, I thought. Uh, it really interested me right away, but I don't know how it's going to keep up. Uh, before I left the house, I just opened to a random page in the middle and uh, just read a little tiny bit, and I thought, mm, well, I don't know. Well, I 
I don't know. Apparently there's a, a murderer or something who is stalking people in London during the Second World War. Or at least the, the main character here suspects it. But I wonder, I don't know if maybe she's, uh, you know, got psychological problems and is imagining it or what, or if it's really happening. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll see. I don't know. And again, I may not finish the book. Gosh, I'm have, I've just had such a hard time with uh, staying involved with the book lately. It's just ridiculous. Uh, in my journal, I keep a list of the books I read each year. And uh, the start of this year, well, the last of last year and the start of this year, I was reading prolifically as normal. Uh, and then it just died off. So what is it? This is uh, June already. So I don't know. I don't know if uh, I think I've only got about five or six books, maybe, in my list so far this year. And I don't know. I'm getting to think, well, maybe, you know, I'll be lucky to get 10. Not that it's any kind of uh, contest or anything, <laughs> but I like to uh, read around 20 a year. Uh, We'll see how that goes. I don't know. But uh, I'm coming into town today. Uh, gasoline was two eighty nine at one place and two seventy, what seventy five at another. So the gas prices are okay right now. They fluctuate all the time. But here in South Texas, at the um, at the, you know, like regular size towns, not our tiny town, but uh, it, anyway, a, a town like this that I'm in now, it uh, tends to be, gas prices tend to be okay uh, most of the time. Now in our little town, they are ridiculously high. I don't know, they're about uh, uh I don't know, three, three ninety or something. Whoops, dropped the phone. Three ninety, something like that, uh, because it's just a very, very small town, more like a rural community, and there's only two gas stations there, and they are the same one, Speedy Express, uh, and they're high. They're high in everything, so. Uh, very few people actually get their gas there. They drive here, which is like 11 miles away or something to get gas. Or when they have to be here for something else, uh, you know, grocery shopping or whatever, um, they just go ahead and fill up when they're in this town. So, but I won't be filling up this morning. I wish I could, but hopefully it'll hold off. Uh, the low prices will be here when uh, Social Security hits at the end of this month. Uh, uh, at least it's cool this morning. It's not hot yet. Uh, it'll be up to like 95 or so, I think, today, which is not bad for June in South Texas. Um, and my plans for today, uh, what, when I get home, I'll unload the groceries, uh, I'll probably rest for a couple of minutes, and then I'll do a video showing what I've got. Then I'll put everything up, and then I'll watch YouTube videos, catch myself up, um, uh, because that's, I love watching YouTube videos. I have a bunch of favorites. Um, let's see. 
shout out to plain vanilla grandma um i haven't got my list with me way crunchy but she's changed uh her channel name to azalea's way uh, if any of y'all were following along when uh she and john bought their uh, fixer upper uh a fixer upper from hill <laughs> not really it's an old 1929 house in horrible horrible shape uh, and they bought it for twenty thousand dollars and they fixed it up and she finally got the uh, it took them i don't know how long a couple of years maybe maybe one year i don't know don't remember but uh they fixed it up uh so many so many projects gosh they were just uh, uh just so difficult uh I had to get inspections i had to, uh, it was just what i consider awful i don't i could never have done it uh, but they finally have figured up what it cost them everything uh and if you want to know how much then they that the house and, and the land that came with the third of an acre or something like that uh, and how much they put into it uh, cost wise to get it done go to her channel azalea's way she finally got a breakdown whoops got a breakdown of it and posted it so that was interesting. Uh, I've always heard, you know, what you you should do if you can fix, if you have the ability to fix up the house and the money to put into it, is to buy the worst house in the best neighborhood, uh, which makes sense. Um, but uh, anyway, gosh, traffic is picking up here. Oh. Uh, Anyway, I'll be watching YouTube later, uh, and I'll, I hope to take a nap today. I hope I can sleep. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Sometimes I'll take a nap and feel worse than when I uh, first laid down. Uh, and then church this evening... Uh, I go to the vigil mass because I'm not a morning person and to, uh, you know, to try to get up and get dressed, which our, our church is casual. Uh, you know, nobody uh, dresses up or anything, nothing fancy. Uh, people just wear uh, women just wear slacks and whatever, you know, some dress nicer than others, but me, it's usually jeans and uh, maybe a nicer t-shirt, something like that, and uh, so I'll be going to the vigil mass this evening, I hope, uh, I try to make it every weekend sometimes I don't sometimes I feel uh, really bad and I just have to participate on TV uh, so I guess that's about it for now um, and uh, I'll probably have to cook supper tonight uh, I'm not the most avid cook, y'all. And if you saw yesterday when I did my, uh, um, showed my fridge that I had halfway cleaned, uh, I, I just can't do everything anymore. So, uh, anyway, and I did a, a pantry, showed my pantry, uh, and the freezer top of my refrigerator. We don't have a, a separate freezer. It's just the top of the refrigerator. <clears throat> but anyway, if you saw that yesterday, you saw those HelloFresh kits in my fridge. And um, 
my son and his wife have a subscription to them and they got tired of using them. So anyway, it's just, uh, so I get them every week now and it's a blessing because the food is good. It really is. Uh, most of the time and all the time they've been doing this we only had two that we didn't like and one of them was because I uh, added too much of the hot stuff that you know, I don't know remember what it was chili peppers chili powders things like that I just added the whole thing that came in the kit I shouldn't have done that because it was way too hot uh, for us uh, so most of the of the meals are really good and we enjoy them but they are so much more time consuming to make them than it is to make what I would normally make uh, and uh, anyway but we'll have one of those I forget what it is I had set out for tonight it was vegan mushroom something uh, and uh, try, I was trying to catch up. I think I've got five of them in the fridge now. After today, it'll be four, I think is what it is. But then it'll be another box delivered Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. So that'll put me at uh, at least three more kits. Uh, usually there's three kits in a box, but sometimes there's two and sometimes there's four. So, uh, we'll see what we get. Anyway, I guess that's about it. Uh, nothing else going on today, I hope. Uh, got the dogs out before I left. The coffee was started. And, yeah, so when I get home, maybe I'll drink a cup of coffee. Uh, anyway, I hope y'all have a good day, a good weekend. Thank you for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, it helps. I haven't got that many uh, subscribers. I think uh, a little less than 600. I think 595 maybe. I don't know. Something like that. So, <clears throat> anyway... I don't know when my next video will be after the one I do later today of what I got at the food bank. Uh, I might try to just show some art or something. Uh, I used to be so into art and now I just can't really make myself do it. I just, uh, I don't know why. I hate it when I have some kind of avid interest for years and suddenly poof it's gone and uh, so I hope this isn't gone but uh, I don't feel like painting um, gosh what's the channel Prepper Dale maybe Some, I, I don't know I haven't got a list with me or anything Prepper Dale maybe that was the channel <clears throat> uh, but He's an older man, and he does various videos, uh, and he mentioned he might, uh, or he should paint a picture of his view out in back of his house. Uh, it's a uh, big hill, lots of trees, things, and uh, I thought, yeah, I should do that too, so I don't know. Um, but anyway, goodbye for now, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.